You need to see my face when we're looking at the uh, the hot bodies. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna play a sorcerer. She's kind of hot pants. Um. Yep. Let's select this one. Okay. So these are just your basics. Uh, right here, zodiac sign. Each whatever your zodiac sign is is going to um, indicate kind of how your character reacts with the people that you're in you're meeting up with okay i'm not, not going to read all of these again but basically this is like a wandering type of a person optimistic this one's rational disciplined and deliberate a giant is kind of a dreamer ambitious nimble observer camel they like toes uh, dragon prestigious exalted attentive sensitive and social so you kind of pick your star sign that you were born under uh, you can spend a lot of time with this if you'd like. I'm not going to. I'm just going to kind of... I think we'll pick Dragon. She's she's a sensitive sorceress. Thank you, Furugawa. Appreciate that. So, um, okay. And then weather. This is only for lighting. So you want to sort of see how your character looks at different times of the day. It doesn't affect your character's... Um, anything about your character's... Anything. So this is just to sort of see how the lighting looks. So we'll go with kind of a neutral... Yeah, let's go with one. Okay. Um, character action. This is just for posing, and you can put different costumes on them. But let's first let's go into customization. First off, we'll go to the we'll go bottom up. Okay. I like to go bottom up just so you, you kind of get their voice first. I'm gonna turn this up for a second. Uh, Stella, could you just wait till we get finished, and then uh, when we go to put the character on, I'll, it'll list the servers, and I'll show you what server it is, okay? Okay, so this is like a tiny voice. I don't want her to sound like she's two or three, so we'll, we'll move her up a little bit. Yeah, she sounds like a lowly. Too squeaky. And this up here is sort of brutish. She's got a very, very, very thick nasal can candy. <laughs> this sounds about right. I mean, you can go anywhere you want in here. Alright, good enough. Alright, so then uh, we picked the voice. Let's go to the body. Okay, so this is probably the most comprehensive. Um, character customization I've ever seen in a game with the level of quality that this I mean you can find some that you can change everything like uh, Reign of Kings you can change their finger length and stuff like that and you can do that here as well um, but this one it go, it, it's a very very high quality all right so first off there's jiggle physics we'll get that out of the way right now because I know you guys are probably wondering um, breast will jiggle okay which in, in other types of um, other types of MMOs like Korean MMOs, Arc Age, Final Fantasy, uh, they they had jiggle physics as well for the breast, but they didn't have jiggle physics anywhere else. This one, um, the thighs will jiggle and the ass jiggles. See, see her her ass is jiggling. Now let's go ahead and we'll make her thighs really kind of thick. We'll give her a little bit thick on the legs. Now you you wiggle. No, she's actually her thighs aren't wiggling that much. Well, her ass is wiggling, but let's see if we can get. Usually, her thighs, the thighs wiggle. That's strange. Okay, uh, maybe it's just the other character. I guess it's they didn't have it added on this one. You can um, adjust the size. Of, we'll start at the bottom. You can adjust the size of the feet, the toes, how big the toes you want, how big the feet, kind of feet you want there. And that's a great idea, Clifford. Yeah, it's, that's what I was thinking. Why I don't really need to be a pirate when uh, we've got uh, a lot of other pirate orgs out there that I will definitely be aligned with. Because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be trucking, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna be trucking legal shit. There we go. You can also reset everything to default so if you if you get where you're making like her arms like gorilla arms or something and you screw up you just go reset all and it puts it back to where it belongs 
Okay, so then you can always do her, her calves. Oops. That's the part I don't like. I don't like it going up and down like this. I would rather, like, I would like to give her bigger calves without it making it go taller. Because then it screws everything up. Popeye calves. The trucking legal shit is not paying well enough. You might be right they aren't jiggling because of the pantyhose. You might be right. So then we have her thighs, which I've already shown you. You can change the length of her pelvis, her vagina area, if you want to give her kind of a smaller gap between her legs or just whatever. Um, and then, of course, you can go in the back on her ass and you can grab this and you can make this as big as you want or small as you want. And then give her a little bit of a, a little bit of a poochy belly, straight up. <laughs> well, the thing is, one of the, one other thing I was talking about is that even though there's jiggle physics in this character creation screen, the jiggle physics do carry over into the game itself. So, where a lot of games they don't, they're more they just pretend or whatever. Okay. Um, you know, the size of her lower, underneath her rib cage. Then, of course, the breasts. So you can, you can change them to some extent. You can't make them ridiculous, but you can change them. Um, so you can make them like torpedo boobs. Which it's also changing, you can see that it's changing her nipples as well. And then you can um, you make them sort of perky, kind of per pointy boobs, or take them back and make them sort of nice boobs, little tiny boobs, whatever. However you kind of want your boobs to look. You can make them hang like natural boobs. Okay. Um, fingers as well. You can change the, the way that the hands are set up. Bigger hands, tinier hands, man hands, girl hands, whatever. I'm not going to mess with that too much. I don't really don't like screwing around with the arms too much because you do it wrong and then they, they look like freaking gorilla arms. <laughs> Tabs back to the stream. In-depth female character creation, yes. Um, and so you can also change the chest size, like... Of course you can change the boob size, right? But the boobs are just the fleshy part on top, but you, you can change the rib cage above and below to give more of a... Now these are also X, Y, Z coordinates, so you can change things in the X, Y, or Z. I think we've given her sufficiently large breasts. Okay, uh, then the neck, you can give her giraffe neck, or no giraffe neck. Okay, so that's, that's that. Now muscle, this is um, the, the tone, the, the, the tone of the body. So if we want to make her have some rocking abs, you can do that. We can also do her arm muscles and her leg muscles. So it just tones her up a little bit. You know, if you want her like really, really toned, muscular, or if you want her sort of like, you know, you can make her sort of frumpy, kind of fat. My character looks like an alien right now. Because the chest is all out like that. This is one of my most favorite parts is the, the tattoos. Uh, you can 
rotate them where they're at. Uh, you can move them around. Say I want to give her a tattoo on a lower arm. Move the tattoo across this way. Put it on her chest, in her neck. Make it look like a Maori. You can change the color of the tattoo. You can also change the environment, which means how shiny it is. So, you know, newer tattoos have a shine to them. You can modify the rectum, yes. Oh, shit. Hold on one second. All right, sorry about that, everybody. Phone, phone's ringing there. Um, okay, I'm back. So you can, uh, I actually, I like this tattoo the most, but I put that on the other girl. This one's kind of neat. Apparently I can't move this one. It's kind of neat, it goes around the body that way. There's also pay tattoos. These are all pay. I don't know how much they cost. May the fourth be with you too as well, Knight Rider. So what will, what I'll probably end up doing? Let's see. Let's, what's this one here? I kind of like this one because she's a mage, right? She's a magic user. Um, all right, let's, let's take her, her, uh, chest area and not stick it out so much. How's that a little better? Looks less like an alien now. <laughs> all right. Uh, anyway, let's get back to the tattoo. So anyway, she's a magic user. I could sort of see this tattoo being like on a magic user. You know, she's like dedicated to the dark arts. It says a million nerds cried out in excitement and were suddenly silenced at the thought of episodes one, two, and three. Okay, so this one here, you can make her pose like... I don't see any purpose for this at all. <laughs> Other than you just want to screw around and <laughs> you're ordering your real doll. Yes, I would like to order a real doll, please. Thank you. All right, so we got her all designed. Very nice. That's her body. Now we're going to customize her face. Now look, check this out. This is absolutely amazing. You have the basic faces. And then you have these premium faces, which I don't don't necessarily know why. Um, I think they're nice they're nice enough looking faces, but I think you could probably get what you're trying to go with with one of these. I don't think the cash up costs much. I don't know the value of change, but I think the dollar in your is way stronger than Korean money. Probably right, uh, Loki. Loki, you're not by chance the Loki that made the English thing, are you? Because the guy who made the English thing is named Loki. So I didn't know if it would maybe be you. Because that would be fantastic if it was you. So uh, you can also change the sweat. How sweaty she is. Which I think is awesome. Especially if you have a character like like running around a lot. Just look, look at how it changes the, the, the glistening on the tattoo area. And everything else. Okay. So you can make it all super sweaty, like she's just ran everywhere. That's okay, Loki. All right, so face, obviously. Face shape. Now, 
this is where it gets really cool. Um, you can obviously change the chin. You can change the, the, the settings of how you want the chin to look. It's not just X and Y, but it's also... You can change... Oh, I just missed a follow. I apologize. Not my follow alerts turned on. Me. Me, ogre. Strong with the force you are. Um, <laughs> so you can give her like a bit of an overbite or underbite. Mm. <laughs> me, 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 you can give somebody a little bit of asymmetry, which I think is fantastic. Nobody's face is 100% symmetrical. I mean, everyone's got a little bit of asymmetry involved. But, you know, give her kind of a, an up smile, a little bit of a... Maybe a little bit of a scowl. She's kind of a... She's, she's dealing in the dark arts, so she might be a little bit sort of scowly. Give her some bigger lips. Almost, she almost looks a little bit like, uh, what's her name from uh, Dragon Age? Oop, keep messing with that chin. Oh my god, you always gotta look at a profile because you never know what you're doing. She's already gorgeous, right? It's Barbie dress up 2.0. Exactly. Okay, guys, what we're gonna do is just change her hair color everywhere. Waka, waka, waka. Kevinator, of course. I want everybody to join the organization. You guys don't have to ask for my permission. I really do want everybody in it. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time with this, but you could really go into this and uh, make somebody look exactly like a famous actress or actor or whatever you want you're trying to accomplish here. It's kind of got a little little buttony nose. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. We'll fix her eyes in just a moment. Um, I don't think she needs a broken nose. The last one I made had a little bit of a broken nose. You could really spend a long time making this character. Uh, let's see, put her hair up. Like, I, I think I could probably make her look like Angelina Jolie at this point if I messed around with it enough. I kind of want, I like the little scowl on her face because she's, she's going to be kind of a badass, but magically badass. Yeah, you can make... Yes, exactly. So, Skipper Mad, people can put this together. And, um... 
I don't know how they how you go about doing it because like there's no number scheme in Guild Wars. You could there was numbers, right? So it would say 35, 42, 18, and you go okay, 35, 42, 18. You could actually just type in all the numbers and make the character. I don't know how you would go about doing that here. What do you think? Is it cute enough? Let me give her very uh, Spock like a browse. I'm just making butt lips. I really don't want her to be that friendly because she's kind of like, I'm, I'm envisioning her being like this dark mage. Okay. So obviously. That's the shape of the face. And then you can go in here and go really, really crazy with the uh, the makeup. I know this is, this bothers some people that I spend a lot of time, but once again, she's she's kind of a dark. I just want to kind of give her the dark look. I think black hair is perfect for her, especially being like a darker mage. Very psychically pleasing. Right, Kaiser, but I just wanted to see what you guys thought of it. Um... There's so many different possibilities for... I think, I think your lips are just... Let me fix your face again. <laughs> That's better. Some of these colors really don't line up. <laughs> that looks better. <coughs> Perfect. Okay, so you guys are saying she looks like she has a cataract. You can change so many different aspects of the eyes. There, I fixed with the cataract part. But you can change the iris from being like, you can give her like dragon eyes or cat's eyes. 
Heart shaped iris. I, think, I don't know what that is. That's kind of cool. Oh, that looks awesome. Really fiery. <laughs> I kind of like that. Um, get it to kind of line up with the color of the lips and the eyeliner. You got your BDO email. Awesome. Great, Dr. Love. Oh, cool. You can go all, you can go crazy with this. All right, we'll stick with that. <clears throat> the people is a thing of nightmares. Yeah, it's a very dark. That's what I'm trying to go for a dark mage. It's quite pretty. All right, now uh, tattoos on the face. You can do they they have pay premium ones, of course. Um, gonna put whatever you want. We might go with something. Something like that. She's already got the tattoo on her arms that kind of could lean up into that, you know? Starklet. <laughs> uh, we know uh, the guy who did the, star, the music for Starklet is uh, Pedro. And um, we've had him on the show a few times. He might come back again. Uh, wrinkles, I'm not going to bother with. I want her young. Okay. She's looking fierce. Doesn't she look fierce? In her fierceness? Wow. Okay. And then finally the hairstyle. Kind of the same kind of thing. These are all pay. This is one thing you probably would want to pay for if you really like one of these hairstyles because it's not something you can... I can't take this and make her look like that. This is this is I mean you can go completely nuts. You can change the the, the curls in the hair. Um so we can go with sort of a there. That's kinda of cool. It matches her eyes, right? The tips, we're gonna make them black. That looks pretty hot. <laughs> I think that's pretty damn cool. 
In that Disney fish movie, she kind of does look like Cru what? No, that's not Cruella de Vil. Looks like your ex. <laughs> I'm gonna spend some time alone now. All right, cool. And then finally, the last thing you do is uh, costumes. This is the, uh, the her underwear. See, even her jewelry jiggles. Her chest is so big with this outfit. It looks like <laughs> looks like she's like super fat and with like the funky head. Her boobs are so big. Um, this is the outfit I want. How much is this? Can I buy this now, please? Ursula, that's right. Spirit magic helmet. She looks like Morgan. That's right, Morgan from frickin' Arcade. Nah, not Arcade. Um, shit, what the hell's it called? Definitely keeping the boobs. We gotta come up with a good name for her. Some kind of magey name. Um, 